Hi, I'm Jane Payton. I'm a drinks educator, beer sommelier, drinks writer, and I'm also the founder of the School of Booze. And um, today we're going to do a beer tasting tutorial. Let's talk about the four ingredients of beer, the four primary ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. All those ingredients give flavour, aroma, and character to the beer. Water can give texture, dryness, astringency, full-bodied. It's also 95% of the beer. So beer is mostly water. It's one of the things that makes it really refreshing. And then malted barley. During the malting process, the barley is toasted, roasted, sometimes burnt. What you get from the malt is flavour, aroma, colour, and it's also the source of sugar that the yeast ferments and turns to alcohol. Flavour-wise, from malt, we'll get bread, biscuits, toffee, coffee, chocolate, molasses, licorice, honey, nuts. It depends how much temperature has been put onto the malt during the malting process. The malt will also influence the colour of the beer. In fact, the colour of beer comes from the colour of the malt that is used. Hops. Hops are flowers. They give aroma, flavour, bitterness, and they're also a natural preservative. And depending where in the world they're grown and what variety, you'll get different flavours and aromas. So for instance, in the New World, New Zealand, Australia, USA, you might get tropical fruits or pine or very, very powerful citrus flavours and aromas. In the Old World, you might get herbal characteristics or floral. You might get some citrus as well, but maybe not as powerful as the New World ones. You've got a lot of choice with your hops. Some beers are led by hops and we're going to taste one later. Some beers are led by malt and we'll taste that later. Some beers are led by yeast. So let's talk about yeast. Yeast gives us the alcohol. It can also add to the body of the beer. And depending on the strain of yeast, it gives us aroma and flavour. So if you're brewing an ale, for instance, you could expect to get some dried fruit, some citrus, you might get some banana, some cloves, some spice. You might even get a medicinal characteristic. It just depends on the strain. Now, if you're brewing a lager beer, you don't expect to get any characteristic from the yeast. But if you're brewing a mixed fermentation or a wild fermentation, then the yeast is going to have a big impact on the final flavour of the beer, quite often giving it a sour characteristic. And we're going to taste a sour beer a little bit later on. So just to remind you, my three tips for beer tasting. Don't chill the beer too much. You don't want to mute the flavours and aromas. Choose a glass that suits the style of beer that you're drinking. And don't fill the glass too full. Give some space for the beer to breathe and the aromas to develop. <laughs>